Hey guys, welcome to a new Update Tuesdays video. This week we are going to show you a new update that we did towards the OpenAI integration and that is the intent detection action. So what this does is basically similar to what Dialect Flow does in which it detects an intent and from there captures the available parameters. You can also enable outer slot filling and only when all the parameters have been given by the user then only then we will continue towards the next step. So how does this work? If we go towards an action block, so let's just go with an action block. From here, we can go towards integrations and from integrations, we can go towards OpenAI. From there, we can press edit action and then select the detect intention. From here, you will see that we have an input. So we could, for example, say we are going to set this towards the last text input. And let's make a simple example. Let's call this a book reservation section, right? So let's say I would like to make a reservation. Next up is the model that you can use. So if you have applied for GPT-4 and you are approved, you can basically just fill this in, just gpt and then go with number four. I will just leave it as default for now. Then we get towards the required parameters and basically parameters are entities inside of a dialect flow. And this is basically the parameters that you need to continue towards the next step. And this is also what OpenAI will generate its next reply on, especially when you enable outer slot filling. So let's do that right now. If we go towards parameters and we are going to enable this, Let's uh, just say, what do we need to enable for a reservation, right? We need a date, we need a time, and we need the guests. So that is something that we will need as well, guests. And let's do an email. I think that would do it for a reservation, right? We can also do optional parameters so that those are optional parameters that you can include as well uh, for example phone or address and that is basically a good indicator for optional parameters if you are doing a home delivery for example but since this is a reservation i will just leave it at required parameters for now as you can see i have a test value inside and let's just push the button test request let's see what we get back and if we head down in just a few seconds, we will get some sample data back. And as you can see here, we have the data intent reservation, right? And then the next question will be, what date do you want to make the reservation for? So that means that OpenAI, without any additional training, because it's already trained on so many kinds of information and data sets, is already able to basically capture the intent, which is a reservation and then is going towards this list basically. So date, time, guest, email. So the next question, since date is still not recovered from the user, is what date do you want to make the reservation for? And soon as we give the date, it will be pre-filled and will just go down the list and ask all the available questions, which we can all map and then go towards the all required. And soon as all the parameters have been filled, the all required will turn to true and the action block will go and auto continue towards the next step. So we can map all of these uh, data entries separately, right? We can also just copy the JSON data. And by copying the JSON data, let's call this just reservation. There we go. And let's go with a JSON. There we have it, going to add it towards the overview. And from here, uh, we could also, again, map all the individual setting, settings, right? But let's just continue from here. The next step would be to output everything, right? So let's go and continue towards the next step. We're going to go with an action send, or go with a text message and then we're going to confirm all the details. So the details will be uh, to confirm your reservation. Let's go with date. Let's go with time. Let's go with guests and let's go with email. 
let's all output this there we go and let's go with the reservations json right and from here as you can see we already have some parameters that we can just go let's go and map the date and let's do the same for the other ones so let's go with reservations and let's go with the time then let's go with the guest all coming from that exact same json uh, field so let's go with guest and then last but not least the email so let's do that as well let's go with email press save and then we are done now in order to capture something let's put a question block in between so there we go and let's just go really really simple and add a few dots so we can basically go and ask a question let's save it into a question custom field there we go doesn't really matter and then we will hand it off towards OpenAI detect intention to see if we can capture all the available data. So let's preview this and let's see what we get. Let's press the preview button. Let's open it up in web chat. And then let's go and select this. There we go. Okay, so let's say I would like to make a reservation. Let's see what kind of pieces of data the uh, OpenAI basically will ask, right? So the first question most likely will be the date. So what date would you like to make the reservation on? Let's say uh, the 20th of April. Then it will run it through the same module again and see what basically what information is missing. So in this case, what time would you like to uh, like to make the reservation for so let's say 8 p.m it goes back inside and see what kind of data it already has and then ask the next question uh, the guests uh, let's say five and then we will get what is your email address so let's just go with my you chat one and I think that's about it. And it should now confirm all the reservation settings. So let's take a look. And there we have it. To confirm your reservation, the date of 20th of April, the time is 8 p.m., guests are five, and the email to confirm it on is this email. A fantastic way, right? Uh, but you can do a lot more with, uh, with detect intention. And basically, if we just delete all of this you could also do something medical as well right so what you could do is let's say uh, i am not feeling well and what we require as parameters for example are the symptoms so let's go with symptoms and just leave it at this right uh, what uh, what openai is going to do is going to ask uh, what are you feeling or what are your symptoms and if needed, it will basically ask a little bit more for a little bit more detailed information and catch that all inside the precise intent. Meaning that if we are going to run this, test the request, you will see that we only have the symptoms parameter now, as you can see here, right? And the question will be, what symptoms are you experiencing in this case? Or well, we can map this data symptoms directly towards a custom field. Uh, or we can just, again, do just this. And let's say we are going with a symptom. There we go. And let's call it a JSON field again. Let's add this. And then let's remove the other one. There we go. Let's save this. And now let's go and adjust this. So let's say symptoms of patient are the following. And then we could output the symptom 
Exceptional field again. And then just go with symptoms. It's just that easy. So if we are going to run this again, so let's preview this. Okay. Let's say I am not feeling well. Should ask me something about my symptoms in some manner at least. What specific symptoms are you experiencing? I have a migraine and feeling dizzy. So let's see if it requires additional uh, information about these symptoms or it's going to output this directly. And here we have it. So we have symptoms of the patient are the following. Migraine pain level is zero. Dizziness level is zero. So it does not, in this case, ask for any additional symptoms. But if we are going to run this again, so let's say I'm going to preview this again. And we're going to do some additional follow-ups, right? So let's say I'm not feeling well. We'll ask for the symptoms again. So let's say I have a huge migraine and I am really dizzy and just fell over. So let's see what kind of skill, what kind of symptoms it OpenAI is going to uh, generate for us, right? So now we have said we have a huge migraine. So let's say migraine is huge, dizziness is true, falling over is true, other, uh, others are zero. But you can see that you get a different output every single time, depending on the user's input. Sometimes OpenAI might also add follow-up questions. If you are having a headache on a scale of one to 10, uh, how big is the headache, right? So let's see if we get something similar like that as well. So let's say I have a headache. Let's see if it basically triggers this as a symptom or ask a little bit more. In this case, it's going to not ask for a little bit more. Do uh, make sure that if you are not requiring or not getting all the available parameters, right? You could just go back inside the AI detection so if we are going inside and add an additional parameter, so we have symptoms and let's say we also want to have the pain scale, right? So if we are going to save this, let's go. And now going to preview it one more time. Let's see if it adds the pain scale. So let's say I am not feeling well. So that's the last time I'm going to test it. And, and let's say I have a headache. And now it should ask me for the pain scale. So the pain level, right? So let's see if we get it. There we go. On a scale of one to 10, how severe is your headache? So it matches the pain level, the pain scale towards the symptom already given. And now we can, for example, say, okay, it's a nine and just go with the output. And because I did not enter the pain level, you will see that I only get the symptom, uh, but you will also need to map the pain level itself, of course. But you can see that depending on the parameters that you ask, you can fine tune this detect intent or this intent detection system and customize it towards your own needs. Put it in separate flows. So if you have a reservation flow, you can put this inside the reservation, capture all the data in one go, no need to set up uh, four or five different kinds of question blocks. Just go with an intent detection uh, block and then capture all the data at once, provided towards the chatbot in a separate custom fields or just inside the JSON variable to output it towards the user. Let it confirm. If confirmed, you can map all the available values and then continue from there. So we really hope, so we really hope that you like this new update we did towards OpenAI intent detection. 
If so, do consider dropping a like and do let us know what you would like to see next. For now, have some fun with it, enjoy, take care, and we'll talk to you really, really soon.